Greetings! I would like to take a moment to talk to you today about useless talents. Things you can do that are really neat, but utterly useless in the real world. I have two useless talents I can do. Um, the first is I can sound like a walkie-talkie. It's neat, it's amusing, uh, but utterly useless um, in this day and age. Um, there may have been a time uh, before the invention of walkie-talkies when this would have been really useful because you might have a guy in, in Dundas and he says, I need, I need this message delivered to, to Joe in, in, in Grimsby. So run and deliver this message. And so you'd run and you'd, you'd, you'd get to Grimsby and you'd, you'd find Joe and, and you would go, and he'd go, ah, oh, okay, I understand. Um, tell him, Roger, um, cancel the 304, and um, we are instead going to uh, uh, do a 327 at the 508. And so, okay. And you run, run, and you get all the way back to um, Dundas, where the original message started from, and, and you go to the guy, and you go, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't copy that. Could, could you give it to me again? I, di I didn't get that at all. I'm sorry. Uh, could you, what, what's going on here? And, and then you'd say, oh, geez, I'm, uh, there was interference uh, when I went through Stony Creek. Or as I like to say, Stony Creek! And, and that would have been a useful time for, for the, the impersonation of a walkie-talkie because people wouldn't have walkie-talkies back then that they could just walkie and talkie into. Um, but nowadays, not so useful. Um, in, in fact, even walkie-talkies themselves, not too useful with, uh, for the average person. There are still some applications where they're useful. Um, you know, the security guards and uh, you know, festival organizers and um, um, FBI agents in S Steven Spielberg movies. Um, but for the, most of us, a walkie-talkie doesn't find too much data in use. So that is my first useless talent. That I have, uh, which is um, neat but useless. My second one, my friend Chie uh, taught me how to do this. She didn't actually sit down and say, okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, it's I saw her do it once, and I said, well, that looks easy. I bet you I could do it. And so I went and did it. This is my, my second, um, second useless uh, talent. So get ready. I can put my hair up in chopsticks, which um, is a useful talent if you are a girl. Uh, for a guy, it's not that useful a talent um, for most guys. Um, for some guys, yeah, who might judge? But for, for most of us, if you walk around um, with uh, long-haired guys and you walk around with chopsticks in your hair, uh, people will either think you are a tranny or cross-dresser or um, very phenomenal. Uh, or, um, or they will think um, you barely 
you've survived an attack by an extremely hungry ninja. So that's my second useless talent. But I was thinking, you know, uh, our, our gender identities are very uh, social, very much social constructs. So um, uh, we could actually, uh, there was a time when uh, men with long hair who pulled them into ponytails, that would have been very effeminate, um, not manly and rugged. And, um, uh, but nowadays you see guys with long hairs and ponytails all the time. It's fully accepted and very considered masculine. Um, and uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a very masculine fellow, um, even though I, I, I can do this um, and I have long hair. Um, I'm a very masculine fellow. Make no, no, make no mistake about it. Um, very rugged and manly. Um, I, some guys, um, I measure my manliness by the amount of power tools I have, and I've got so many, so many power tools. Manly, manly man, power tools. Very rugged. And and so, I, I was thinking, um, perhaps. Us manly men, manly men with long hairs, um, could re could sort of reclaim. Well, not really reclaim because we never really did this, but to claim the hair chopsticks as a sign of our a manly virility. And if we all banded together and, and started wearing our hair in 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 manly chopsticks. Um, call them chop skewers because that might be manlier. Um, if we all started wearing our, our hair in, in manly chopsticks, then maybe this wouldn't be a useless talent and it could be seen as very rugged manly guy uh, with the, the, the hair full of chopsticks. Um, because I'm, as I said, very rugged and manly! Um, okay, uh, I, I do shave my armpits. Um, but uh, it's it's not a, a, an effeminate thing. It's it's strictly a, a personal grooming uh, thing um, because uh, I have lots of grooming rituals. Uh, I have obsessive compulsive disorder, so um, grooming you don't even want to get into my grooming uh, habits uh, because they are quite intense. And believe me, you never want to take a shower with me. Um, it takes me forever to get out of the shower because I have so goddamn many uh, personal grooming rituals I have to perform in the act of bathing myself. So, but manly guy, chopsticks in hair. What do you think? Do do you think we can claim this long-haired dudes who are rugged and, and manly like me? Do you think we can can claim hair? chopsticks and make this a useful um, If you do, then um, uh, do a post a video response to this um, and take your manly long hair and, and put it up with chopsticks and post a video response of you with your rugged manly long hair and your chop skewers. Uh, stuck into it to hold it up because you're so manly you don't care. Ah, uh, manly. So what do you think?